Magandang buhay, grade 7 students. I am your Sir Isagani. Welcome to our science channel. Today, you will learn about parts and functions of a compound microscope. Parts, but before we proceed, do not forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell for you to be updated for our new uploaded science video lessons. Microscope is an instrument used to see small objects that cannot be seen by our naked eye. The most common microscope used in the classroom experiment is the compound microscope. It has three major parts, magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical parts. Magnifying parts are used to enlarge the view of the specimen or object to be observed. Why? Because it has a lens. Magnifying parts are composed of two parts, the eyepiece and objectives. Eyepiece is a part of a microscope where you look through to view the object. It is placed on the upper part of the microscope. This is an example of eyepiece. Next are the objectives. These are attached to the revolving nose piece and the most important part of the magnifying parts. We have four kinds of objectives. They differ in size, color, and magnification. First is the scanner. This objective has the lowest magnification, which is four times. Has a short size among other objectives and contain a red color. Second is the low power objective or what we call LPO. This objective has a short size with thin magnification and yellow color. Third is the higher, higher power objective or HPO. This is bigger than the scanner and low power objective. It has 40 magnification and blue color. The last kind of objective is the oil immersion objective or what we call OIO. It has same like high power objective with um, pen magnification and white color. Lenses of objectives have the ability to enlarge the image of the object to be observed. This is what we call the magnification. It has a symbol of a small letter X, which means how many times the object is enlarged. To commute the total magnification of an image, you need to multiply the magnification of the given eyepiece to the magnification of the given objective lens. For example, you have an eyepiece which is 8 times and objective lens which is 4 times. When you multiply 8 to 4, you will have 32 total magnification. And if you have another example, 7 times eyepiece and 40 times which is the objective lens, Multiply the 7 to 40 times and you will get 280 total magnification. Next, we have the illuminating parts. Illuminating parts are used to supply and regulate light to the object to be observed. Illuminating part has two parts, the diaphragm and mirror. Mirror collects and reflects light from an external light source up into the object to be observed. This is an example of mirror. Next is diaphragm. 
it regulates the amount of light passing through the specimen. This is an example of diaphragm. We are now in the last part or last major part of the microscope which is the mechanical part. Mechanical parts are used to support, protect, and move parts of the microscope. It has 10 specific parts. The body tube, dust shield, revolving nose piece, stage, stage clips, base, inclination joint, arm, fine adjustment knob, and coarse adjustment knob. Let us know the function of each part. Body tube, it connects the eyepiece to the objectives or objective lens. Dust shield pr protects from dust. Third is revolving nose piece. It holds the objectives and can be rotated to allow shifting of objective lenses. Next is the stage. Stage is a platform with a central hole to slide being studded. Fifth is the stage clips. It holds the slide in place. Sixth is the base. It is a heavy Y-shaped foot which provides support and steadiness to the microscope. Seventh is the inclination joint. It connects the arm to the base which allows tilting or inclining for easy observation. Eighth is the arm. It supports the body tube and it is where the microscope is held and also used to support the microscope when carried. Ninth is the fine adjustment knob. It sharpens the image of the specimen under high power objective lens. Last is the coarse adjustment knob. It focuses or brings off the object to be observed and moves up the body tube up and down. Do you understand our lesson for today? Let us summarize your understanding about this lesson. Microscope is used to see small objects that cannot be seen by our naked eye. It has three major parts, the magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical parts. Magnifying parts are used to enlarge the specimen, or the image of the specimen. It includes the eyepiece, objectives, and we have four kinds of objectives. These are the scanner, low-power objective, high power objective, and oil immersion objective. Illuminating parts are used to pro provide light so that the image is seen. It includes the diaphragm, mirror, and that's it. Mechanical parts are used to support and protect the microscope. It includes body tube, dust shield, revolving nose piece, stage, stage clips, base, fine adjustment knob, coarse adjustment knob, arm, and that's it. I hope this video will help you to understand the different parts of the microscope. I hope you have learned a lot from this lesson. Again, I am your Sir Isagani. Have a nice day. Stay safe and healthy. See you next time!